Hey, what's up, people? It's Black Wolf, Black Wolf, Black Wolf, Maple Story. In the last episode, I did the Gonzo Gallery. Speaking of the Gonzo Gallery, and this episode, we're back at Spice, doing Spice stuff. We gotta go this way. I always kind of mix two names together. Oh, hey, a Hearthstone. That's a Hearthstone, by the way. If you break, if you are great to open when you're a miner, you might get a lot of good stuff. Yeah, even if you don't succeed in mining it, you get a lot of good stuff. Not sure how long I'm going to be recording this time. Uh, I know my mom's gonna be home in like an hour, so I'm hoping to get maybe an hour of recording done. Got a bit of lag there. That is usually how it always is. I always get a bit of lag on my first damage when I start. Anyway, we gotta kill these golden scorpions. And we also gotta collect 70 of their helmets. I really pooped out there. I took some. I took a pretty long. I was in a uh, testing for two hours taking a test uh, about English language. Uh, it was a. Uh, it's a special test uh, that will get me special benefits if I pass it. And I made a huge mistake. Pretty much with these passages I had to read. But and pretty much the first question was like, "Hey, what? What's the like?" I didn't know it, it, want, it wanted me to read a passage. It said passage A, but I didn't read that part. So it was like, you're writing in your journal, and, a and if you wanted to change something about your life, what is that? Why you want to do it? And how did your journey do it? Like, what consequences are there? Did you change? Now, I wrote down, like, what I wanted to change and my like, consequences and stuff, but I didn't write about the journey, because I didn't know I had to, because the journey was part of the test, and the past uh, was one of the passages. I'm just like, oh crap, I gotta read this passage. So I just added something on at the end. Make it look like I had this passage. I mean, it looked like everything actually blended together. And I wanted to change my assertiveness. This is really what I want to do in real life, too. It's something that my parents talk, tell me all the time. Not really all the time, but me and my dad recently had a conversation about how he's happy that I'm not one of those kids that goes to pass me for everything in the world plus some. Now, truthfully, I know I'd probably get more, like, games and stuff if I did that. But it's, my, it's just, I... I've learned to kind of just let things go, and it kind of gets people making rumors about me. I get this kind of rumor that I'm racist. Like... Like, uh, this one time... Uh... Yeah, you know how, like... Pretty much in the past, uh, I've been bullied quite a lot, and the first person to bully me was this kid. Uh, I'm not gonna name any names, but like in third grade, he, I have, uh, I actually have, used to have really bad injuries, like seriously bad, like so bad, I could potentially have gone off at anybody, including my parents. Go off with my parents a little bit more time. Got my dad really pissed off. Anyway, those are gone now. I mean, I've learned to just let things go. Because of that, people think they can get away with saying rumors about me. Then I'm not gonna go off on them like everybody else does. Which really, I don't mind as long as my friends know I can the rumors I do. But like, just. Why start a rumor about somebody? Because they, they're mad. I think they're mad because I don't react to them. I don't, you know, flip out whenever they say something mean to me. And then they're just like, oh crap, he's not doing it. Now we're looking like a fool. I just, I, I'm, only, I'm only really talking about this, but I'm not as bothered. I like to talk things out. Usually I talk with my imaginary friends because I do have imaginary friends. I just don't talk to them. I do talk to them a lot. I also talk to my stuffed animals that I have right next to me. I do have stuffed animals too. I've had them ever since I was very little. Actually, I my first I actually have one when I was born. My grandma bought it for me. But uh I 
it's like whenever I'm reading a manga, because I like to read manga or manga, I don't know manga. It's basically a Japanese comic book that's kind of reversed of ours and you can read it back backwards, which I really learned is kind of a good way to read it. Kind of just read it, read it in the opposite direction of the way a regular comic book. And like every time I feel like something good just happened or I need to understand something that just happened. I was just like, oh hey guys, this is what just happened in the story, and oh my god, it's so amazing. I do that with a lot of mangas. Like, every manga ever that I've ever read, I've done at least one. I read a lot of mangas, like Kamigachi, Skip Beach, Ujo Noji, uh, Bleach. I especially like Bleach, it's actually really good. Although my least favorite one is probably number 52. I can't tell you what I felt, but number 50, uh, Bleach, in issue, volume, 52 is one of my least favorite of all Bleaches. And again, I won't tell you why, just so I don't spoil anything for you guys. It just has an element that I don't like. This is going a lot quicker than the regular squirty one. And these things are tough. Because either way, they both die in two hits. Oh, anniversary box. Look at all those. The, ba the one thing I don't like about Maple, the Maple Time, is the uh, constant, uh, like everything is just there. I got the item man. I also got oh hey, I got a Kana item. Probably go for this quest thing. Maybe when I reach level 59, I'll probably do the Gonzo Gallery again. Not on camera, but But uh I do got I did get another quest for oh hey. What I get? What I get? What I get? Aww. That's stupid though. Oh, what I get? Oh, I got an energy box. Yeah, I won one eighth of every Can you win more than one? Checky! 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 He's the mechanic trainer. Okay, what he wants us to do? What he wants. What he wants. Can't do that the dagger? Yeah. Oh crap, I'm running out of room. I really could drop a lot of this. I'm keeping that. I don't need that. The reason I like to keep these sometimes is because, uh, when you keep them, you can either use it on, I, I don't really need to pull on with the thing, but I will keep the dagger, because I already know my band is on the wheel. I can keep the wand, because of my, uh, I do have a bishop, or the priest, I think it's a priest actually. I level 60, there it is. That's a good job. I'll keep that just for me. These I can get rid of. These things. This thing sucks. This thing. This thing sucks. This thing. This thing sucks. Yeah, I cleared up a lot of them. Where are you? Anyway, back to the task that I had to hand. That was a disappointing thing. I actually love to write stories. I really do. I'm sure a lot of people out there will agree with me that writing stories is, a, is just amazing. I love it very much. How did I get that? Those two down there, but I didn't get the ones up here. But I, I'll be, I'll write a story about a lot of stuff. And they're usually pretty good stories. This way, nobody likes it. And, well, not very. 
By the way, potatoes falls to uh, towns on Victoria Island do not work on the continent. Just so you know, at least I don't think so. I'm, I'm assuming I'm trusting my gut. Wait, my killer. Okay. We get to go fight a new enemy, and it's not on price. I'll leave the way. We gotta go and talk to demos. Go this way. By the way, it's always a good idea to have a hey box. If you look at there, there's a box. Click those boxes, and those boxes will give you stuff, including a thing. Like a little, oh, whoops! Including a little uh, box that will, those boxes will give you a box that can give you a box. Got be head around that one. We well, gotta kill these things and collect their pieces. They're not very strong, but they do get stronger as you go along. I could probably go get a quest that requires me to kill him, but okay. Asking me if I really want to, because they will, uh, it's a, an item with a potential. By the way, I'm doing this because, uh, Checky wants me to, not because I want to. Checky's mission is to, uh, raise a naval tree thing and then get rid of it, and when you open the food, you complete the quest. I explained this, but these, uh, feeding these things isn't as hard as I thought it was. It doesn't actually have to be a level, it just can't be a metal, and it can't be a... It can't be level zero. Somebody was here before. I can't pick this up. Somebody must have attacked it before. And not killed it for a strike. Like in the future, if I ever become popular, like people will see these videos and see see themselves pass. I don't say, truthfully, in all the videos of Maple Story I've done, I haven't run into all that many people. I'm wondering how many people are gonna be like that I have seen. Be like, oh hey, I, I did this video, so subscribe to my channel that has no videos, but I want you to because I was in this video. Even though you were that you weren't, you didn't say anything. Didn't do it. You know, all you did was walk by. Like that one lady, the ice lightning mage, like the one that I saw earlier. Oh, I know that could be a dude in real life. Like that was my brother's big thing about me being married in this game. I was always talking about how much I loved my toy wife. Truthfully, I did at the time. But now I realize it's kind of silly. My brother was always like, "Well, how do you know she's not a man?" I'm just like, "Well, her character is a girl, so." That, how it, that's how it works. To me, and I stuck his my tongue at him. He didn't like that very much. He smack me upside the head. He likes to smack me upside the head every now and again when I do something. A lot of people kind of smack me upside the head whenever I do something. My parents don't. My parents love me enough, but like my friends and brother, and well, kind of give me a smack upside the head if I do something stupid that they think is really stupid. Not to be mean, but just to show me, hey, you just did something stupid. Don't do it again, because you're there. Ooh, item. Right. Red 
and Janguna. That's Janguna. Oh, it's female. That's fine. It doesn't look like Janguna. I don't look like I like. I was used to wear. Nah, it's not Janguna. I've done a lot of stuff that I've actually just, that have actually been actually not really a lot. I've done two th three things that have been deleted. Two of them I deleted, the third was deleted because of copyright. And as everybody knows that has seen my videos, I've granted that how I lost how my Super Smash Bros. walkthrough so when getting the characters all was taken down, probably. And it's probably by YouTube, but I don't think YouTube pays much attention to me. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a threat to anybody. And really, I don't understand what's so bad about me having a video about the game. I mean, I know, like, the companies lose money. They don't lose money, really all that much money. I mean, there's people like me that watch a Let's Play and decide not to play the game if I don't like how the game looks. But still, why do I need the rights to a game to show everybody what the game is like? I, I'm not sure there's some obvious answer that I'm just not seeing, but I just don't see it. And then there was this top 10 I did, it was a response to uh, another YouTuber who was like, Hey, this is a, a... Everybody make a top 10 video on the top 10 co-op games. If I like yours, you can see my video. And he was, he's a pretty popular top 10 -er. And I'm like, oh hey, I want, I've always wanted to make a top 10, so I did, I'll do it. I'm like... I did a top 10, but I got like a couple of dislikes. I know that getting one dislike on a video is probably bad for me right now. Not because getting one dislike is bad, because a lot of YouTubers have like 20 dislikes. But uh, my, with my videos, if you, a lot of people, if you're like me, you look at the rating before you look at the video. And right now mine has one dislike and no likes. So it immediately looks like it's a huge bar just red. So it's really bad because people will be turned away and then I won't get any likes and that video will never be popular. Like, I think I have a few, like, if you see this video and it actually gets watched, do know that I have not once posted any screen videos. I don't think there's any screen videos ever on YouTube anymore. They used to be a huge thing, but I haven't seen many. Because I don't look, I'm not an idiot. I don't, I always check the ratings before I just do anything. And uh... I never make a, I never make a stupid video, I, I never make a uh... A bad video. Well, depending on how, what your version of bad is. I never make a flip roll. Nothing like that. Not that. Hey, a dragon will go to wings. No, I thought it was a tail. Anyway, I'm not a bad YouTuber. I'm not one of those people that just post videos of like them playing that maze game, and at the end of the maze, it's just like scary face, like the Grudge or something, The Exorcist. I don't watch scary stuff. I don't play scary. I have never once touched a Silent Hill game. I've never once played Slender. I haven't even watched Slender. But after that, I, have, I did watch uh, Slender. Slender. Yes, yeah, that out of me. I actually have watched people play Amnesia, but I know that most of the time they just don't make it very far. Well, the only person I've ever watched kind of stopped doing it, so I stopped watching. I could watch somebody that does the games for a living. Like, I know two people will probably do that. I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna watch either of them, and I'm not gonna mention names. Because, you know, I don't want anybody getting mad like, Oh, hey, you know what I'm saying? Mean, I don't think that would ever actually happen for where somebody would flag my videos because I said a name. I don't think that any of the popular YouTubers are mean, YouTubers are mean enough to get me for mentioning their name. Really, the only person I've ever actually mentioned is Sherpa Conway, and that's because he is probably one of the best Let's Players out there. At least in my eyes. Ooh, a grand maple lipstick. 